so you have the album. You're coming out with this debut album. You're in Nashville. Back then in the 90s, and I even say it now, I, I mean, Nashville is a little seedy. We're just a little, lot more congested. Back in the 90s, yeah, yeah a lot. Um, but back in the 90s, very, very seedy, a little bit more sparse. An altercation happened. You're approached by these guys. You know, that was actually, the, I just finished the background vocal, so it was right after I'd cut the record. I mean, as soon as we got stuff down, I went and got vocals done. I was, I'd finished the background vocal on the very last track. So it would have been pretty quick within the, that week. Uh, and uh, I had a friend that I grew up with that came through town uh, that just stopped in and I went out to some the bars that I hung out at. Uh, like Gabe's and the Broken Spoke, just seeing the musicians that I spent time with, the little dives that I hung out at. And I was dropping her off back at her hotel and three young men approached me and opened the door and have a pistol stuck to your head. So it was pretty scary. I wound up getting shot, uh, hit four times, solid twice, grazed in a couple spots. I've got, I fought with the guys. Uh, they turned on me, emptied two pistols and she was able to get away. I didn't take the time to physically heal I didn't get the mental help that I needed mm -hmm. because I was bitter. I would I used to sit down in the shadows off Music Row at night with a pistol. I would have I plan on taking care of them if I would have seen them. Mm -hmm. uh, and how much different would my life be if I'd done that? Mm -hmm. But you know, we've learned a lot about mental health over the years and about PTSD and how people cope with that. And I've I wish that I would have had those tools early on because they caused me a lot of problems with relationships and things with my career, anger issues and things that I struggled with for a long time that I've been able to finally work past some of that stuff. Going back, I mean, this happens to you prior to the album coming out. At any point, I mean, first of all, lucky to survive. Second, were you thinking, I'm out, I'm going to go back home? Well, uh, I didn't think that. I was more afraid that if I didn't get back fast, that I would lose my slot, wow. and and then I wouldn't be viable because they, they, everything was starting to roll, and so you worry about that. So not really dealing with it at that time, was it just throwing yourself into the music because oh, this yeah. is run and gun, and the hits happen right out of the box? I, I often hear from a lot of you guys when you say this happens, you, you're not aware when a song hits of really what's going on. You're being pulled in every single direction. Was it really pretty much having gone through what you went through and sustaining those bullets and having those injuries on top of everything happening, was it a hold on, hold your breath, and just go? A hit record is like nothing that you can imagine. Uh, being able to take that ride and experience it, uh, it's something really special, I mean, and it's almost an addictive thing. Anybody that's ever been to it will tell you that. You can kind of feel things moving a little bit as you get in the 40s. Record gets a little traction, and by the time you hit top 20, it's getting a little bit more mm. intense. There's more people singing back. Top 10's when you really start to feel whether it's reacting or it's not. Yeah. Top five, when you hit number one, you can feel the intensity. I mean, when you kick that song off at night, it's wow. And, and the roller coaster of all that, you get used to that. And I, I got on that ride for about 10 years where you're, mm -hmm. you're experiencing that, that ebb and flow of it peaking out and then backing off and getting into heavy rotation and then coming with another single. And, and you're moving from one project to the next. I mean, you're shooting a video, you're getting ready, you're doing a radio tour, plus you're working all the time. And at the same time, you're already, by the time you get two singles into that record, you're already putting songs together and, and working the on the next album, mm -hmm. getting ready to go back in the studio and there over about a 10-year period you're able to amass a body of work 